Hi, I've been using uh, the ZTE uh, Blade uh, V8 Pro for uh, several days now. Uh, when, I, when it arrived on uh, January 18th, uh, it was charged up to like 92% or so. Since then, I have never charged it. Uh, I only connected uh, to my uh, desktop a couple of times just to transfer files, but basically I never left it. Uh, plugged so basically I've been using internet downloading stuff since then and finally it the battery went to zero and the uh, and the phone shut down so here is to show you and I uh, click the power button here there should be some red light that's gonna pop up as you can see but it's not turning on so again I'm pressing it the red light is turning on but the phone is not and it's like blinking basically saying that the battery is hey, dead so here's what I'm gonna do this phone is advertised as having uh, something called uh, Qualcomm uh, quick charge 2 uh, basically it is uh, well as the name suggests something that will uh, I guess uh, charge it charge the battery quickly so that's what I think so here is uh, a test I'm going to do right now I'm going to basically plugging this in and then uh, starting the uh, stopwatch right afterwards and I'm going to basically uh, measure how fast uh, this thing charges uh, from the wall uh, and I will stop the video uh, here and then uh, once it finally charges I'm going to uh, let you know how long it takes from 0 to 100% full charge uh, from the wall like that. Or it's been more than 10% uh, charged and it specifically says fast charging uh, and it's been 9 minutes so basically uh, it's charging like uh, faster than 1% a minute so far so good time point is arriving which is the 30 minutes time point I've been charging this phone uh, for 30 minutes now and let's see when it hits 30 how much it's going to be charged it is charged at 39 I don't know if you can see it uh, uh, yeah maybe now you can see it it's 39 so it's like 4 to 3 ratio so per minute it charges so far 1.3 uh, percent um, this 30 minute uh, time point is kind of was important because I was checking the Samsung Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 Edge specifications and that phone supposedly also has quick charge 2. Right now uh, um, Qualcomm has quick charge 3 but I don't know if this is implemented for other phones but for at least for Samsung it is quick charge 2. However there is something like 60% charge in 30 minutes um, uh, note here uh, whereas on the ZTE blade uh, V8 Pro it is 40% in 30 minutes so I'm not sure if this is wrong or I'm not sure if quick charge is actually happening here uh, it is saying fast charging by the way I did not change any settings or if there is any settings I don't even know for charging these are the default settings and this is the default charger uh, that came with the phone um, since this was advertised I assume this I know it has to be compatible with the charger uh, and I assume this charger is compatible with uh, quick charge too but basically it's like uh, compared to uh, Samsung's um, specifications here on this website uh, which is jsmarina.com um, it is behind that well, let's see uh, what's going to happen after an hour of charging. It's pretty much expected. Now, 50% of charge here is happening at 38 um, minutes. So 38 minutes, less than 40 uh, minutes gives you 50% uh, charge. Uh, which means... This is going to be in an hour and 15 minutes. So I expect 75 to 80 minutes or less than 80 minutes to actually complete a full charge from um, 0 to 100% while the phone is off, as you can see.
and we are approaching the uh, one hour uh, time point now um, the phone uh, ZT was charging has been charging since then and uh, I think it's also approaching uh, the end of it so let's see when it hits the one hour I will just click on it and see what the percentage of the battery is at one hour it's at 81 percent okay all right so the remaining 19 percent uh, I suspect is going to finish in like 15 minutes so as I initially uh, was uh, believing or guessing it's gonna be like 75 minutes or so once it reaches uh, 100 percent and meanwhile I read a couple of things and uh, Yes, Galaxy S7, even though it has uh, 820 Snapdragon, at least in a version of it, they do not uh, support Quick Charge 3. That's for consistency reason, apparently, because they also have their own uh, Exynos 8 uh, pro processor to uh, make it consistent between those two. Uh, they actually did not implement Quick Charge 3, but Quick Charge 2. However, there is something weird going on. So. Uh, yes, it, it is indeed advertised like a very fast charge for like 50 or 30, uh, 50 or 50, 60 percent uh, of uh, charge from zero. But what I notice is this is not linear. So uh, Anantech uh, made a test about uh, Galaxy S7 back then, and the charging time from zero to 100 percent is 1.5 hours. 90 minutes but here 30 minutes is 60 percent what it means is charging rate is not linear which I haven't thought about before but apparently that's the way it is um, so it charges up very fast early on but I think later it slows down I don't have the phone so if you have it you can confirm or deny this but it gives a very quick charge indeed early on but later the full charge is gonna be an hour and a half if this were linear rate uh, I looked it up and it is 60 percent is is charged in 30 minutes then the remaining 40 percent should be charged in 20 minutes so the entire phone should have been charged in 50 minutes I'm talking about the Galaxy S7 Edge uh, here but instead of 50 minutes, it's completely charged in 90 minutes. So it has a nonlinear uh, and a decelerating charging rate. This is not the case so far, and I believe it won't be once it full, fully finishes. This has a complete linear charging rate, uh, good or bad, I don't know. Uh, basically, it doesn't skyrocket in terms of percentage early on, but uh, it has a very consistent uh, about 1.3% per minute um, charging rate and once it fully is charged I will be uh, checking it from time to time uh, I will uh, stop this and we will know the uh, exact amount uh, exact amount of time for it to charge from 0 to 100 percent. I'm still not finished with the testing however my estimated 75 minutes has come and I noticed something so I want to show you this so remember uh, I just uh, previously said that uh, this had a this had a linear uh, charging rate up until 90 percent it seemed to have a linear charging rate but now uh, between like between 90 to 100 percent I think it has a nonlinear charging rate because it seems to be slowing down by now it should have almost reached 100 percent but um, it's uh, I'm not really clicking on screen much uh, so that I don't want to affect it much but uh, yeah so it's gonna be at least maybe another 10 minutes until this finishes so basically it's not completely linearly charging uh, pretty much uh, maybe just like any other phone I have never done this test before so I actually don't know about it of course something also to consider is uh, what are we charging so the the battery capacity the battery capacity of uh, ZTE Blade V8 Pro is 3140 uh, milliampere uh, 
uh, I was I've been comparing this to uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is a larger battery. It has uh, 36 uh, milliampere uh, battery, and therefore uh, talk time is also listed as uh, like three hours more than that. Um, it's a small difference. Um, so I believe uh, this is basically just going to charge fully, uh, pretty much the overall, not the um, actual rate, but the but the overall rate. Like if you like the overall time, the same time as Samsung charges for its own battery. Um, so uh, I will let you now know once it fully hits hundred, and we will see the time. It's been 90 minutes and it is at 98% so still waiting for it to charge fully. Another 3-4 uh, minutes passed and I'm just basically waiting for it to get hit 100% so I don't want to miss that time point but I, I have started the video just to uh, not miss that time point but as you can see the rate has decreased from like 1.3% um, battery Per minutes early on when I started at zero and one percent charging now to something like one uh, percent every almost like five minutes so it's like uh, 0 0.2 percent per minute so from 1.3 to 0 0.2 it's like at least six fold or six and a half fold decrease in charging speed that's an that's an incredible decrease in charging rate uh, so basically the closer it gets to 100 the slower it gets uh, and up to like 6 or maybe like 7 volt it still hasn't hit 100 yet and uh, this is going to put this like probably behind uh, Galaxy um, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge even though there are different benchmarks I saw another anantech.com benchmark where, where they are looking at iPhone and um, it ha it charges in 1.85 1 uh, hours uh, over there uh, so you can calculate how much how many minutes it is uh, but basically um, the overall charging speed is not faster than Galaxy Samsung uh, S7 Edge and this phone has uh, actually a smaller uh, capacity lithium-ion uh, battery uh, 3140 milliampere compared to the 3600 uh, milliamperes of Samsung however I also looked the same benchmark for Anantec also shows um, uh, Apple um, 7 plus and that phone takes 3 hours to charge apparently from 0 to 100 and that has even sl smaller battery. It's like, uh, according to um, GSM Arena, the uh, 2900. So Apple iPhone 7 Plus has 2900 uh, milliampere. So it's even a. I know it's a completely different ecosystem, but just to compare it to the top of the line Apple. And as you can see, it's been like almost six minutes uh, that it hit like 98%. So, um, or last time I checked it was 98%. Yeah, so, okay, 100. Yep, stop. Now it just hit 100. Okay, so basically from 98 to, uh, to uh, 100%, it needed seven minutes. And yes, as I said, basically uh, one percent in, in three and a half minutes. So um, one thing to note here is this is the very first time I'm charging it. So I don't know if something is special for the initial charge. Like, is the charge rate going to accelerate after like first or couple of uh, initial charges? I don't know that. Um, I will in the future measure this if I see some some uh, very uh, uh, like not, not just a minute but even uh, like like several minutes differences I might 
uh, make a video about it and such or remeasure this. This is the very first time I charged this phone uh, V8 uh, Blade uh, Pro uh, ZTE Blade V8 Pro and let's actually turn it on. And uh, is basically 90 minutes too much? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think this charges in like two hours or something. This is a dumb phone, not even a smartphone. Um, so in today's standards, I think it's at least for me it's fine. I'm not a very mobile person. Um, I'm not going to be traveling a lot and charging it at the airport. But if the claims of Samsung um, Galaxy S7 Edge, like 60%, the 60% charge in half hour is true. That's a very quick charge early on and that will give you an immediate uh, battery life for many things to do. Uh, that's a good thing. However, I also don't know if this will uh, down the road actually uh, actually drain battery life. So, you know, uh, I don't know if fast charging or charging that fast uh, will affect battery life after uh, many uh, charge cycles but uh, basically that's the end of the video so again it is um, one hour and 37 minutes to fully charge this one thank you very much